have to have some leverage of competency. The sad part is I have no swag, dog. <laughs> so let's let's get into what we really like to get into. Let's get into some of these wild receivers. And let's start with our fir- my first guy, Javon Baker, wide receiver, UCF, also played at Alabama. 6-1-2-0-8. My comp with him, before we even get started, you will like this, Brandon Lloyd. He okay. makes every contested catch contested. Uh, he makes every circus <laughs> catch circusy. He just does it a lot, bro. So that's my – I was like, I'm looking at B. Lloyd all over again. So whatever – whichever one y'all want to show up with B. Lloyd, as far, y'all throw it in there because that's all I see. I see uh, acrobatic, <laughs> contested, diving, jumping out of the gym. 2023 20, first team, all Big 12, led the Big 12 conference with 1,139 receptions. Uh, reception yards. Um, Average almost a little bit under 22 yards per reception. 21.9 for some of you who are going to come in the mentions and say this is what it was. I I was trying to give the kid a benefit of doubt and round up, make him sound better. Uh, Best games, uh, according to grading, Cincinnati, Georgia Tech, Kansas. I just want to say a lot of these guys that um, in the Big 12, Kansas and Kansas State seem to be the teams that get right uh, if you want to have a good game. <laughs> it's just something that I'm noticing, all right? Just, they were, I was like, Kansas, Kansas State, Kansas, Kansas State. So just wanted to throw that out there. What does he do his work the most? 19% of his work is in the slot. So that lets you know the other 72%, uh, 275 times he lined up Why? Games played, 47, 117 receptions, 2,000, 2,051 reception, receiving yards, 13 touchdowns, six drops in 2023, eight drops in 2022. Some of those drops has to do a little bit. Contested catches, like the ball being thrown behind them, first downs, 42 of them, 87 total. Contested catches, 56 in 2023 and 52 in 2000 and or 2022. I mean 2022. Just love his releases. He works every part of the release that you can even imagine. I'm gonna let it play through down at the bottom. Look at that. Ah, runs it. Nothing fancy. Got the corner playing kit against Kent State. Hey, just runs, booms right there. I don't understand why he raises his hands like that. See, he just kind of just everything is circusy a little bit. So I, I just I would like him to be a little bit cleaner. Boise State, Smurf turf. Ah, ah, good release. I like this play. Does it count? But just show it actually did. Ooh. Uh, that's one <laughs> just loves the way just cut look at this bang it inside outside release still gets them to go use a little bit of speed i need them to stack them a little bit more back shoulder throw look at that his leaping ability and gets one foot in down fantastic catch play it through he's in a slot two two love this route this is why He's moving up. Head up. He has an out route. Stems him straight up. Gives him an outside indicator. Look how he opens up the corner. Corner. Spin turns. Mistake. Straightens him back up. Now, now crosses him over. Uses his hands. At the top of the route. Corner flip turns again throw and the reason he catches the ball like this you can see he he doesn't know how far he is from the sideline yeah good field awareness like it he's obviously going from the shadows to the sun there how how difficult is i know in baseball that can be impossible to track a ball in those i've never played at boise during the day okay so i can't tell you 
how big of an issue it is on that. Yeah. I can tell you, it becomes an issue, but you don't realize it till you drop the ball. It's like, uh, <laughs> you, right? It's like you drop that pass. You're like, oh man, the cell was there, man. That's. <laughs> Well, it's like in baseball. You call that games. pass. You call that pass the other day, and the sub was at the same spot. I guarantee you, <laughs> he was in the same spot. There's a few things funny in professional sports on an outfielder in that situation, and you just see they have no idea where the ball went, and they just put their arms up like, I, I don't know. You it could just hit lose me. it. Yeah, it could hit me. I might be concussed I, after this. Hopefully, I catch it. I I learned the technique playing punt return. How I look in the sun is I would use my fingers Mm -hmm. to block the sun. And because you, you can't go over your head. Yeah, that's fair. So I would block, I would (laughs) use my fingers to block the sun. You can see this, this is a, I dislocated this thumb. Uh, so it's a restrictor. You see how it's got a little, so I would use the sun to block. And then I would see the football going through my fingers. And that was my cheat. Uh, because the sun is millions and millions of miles away, mm-hmm. I could use my little fat fingers <laughs> to block the sun, and then I could see the football between my fingers to be able to not go over my head. And so I would talk to the ref, hey, I'm going to use my fingers. He said, all right, just make sure you do a you know, wave. And so that's how I would um, fair catch. Yeah, There were little techniques you could use uh, to help you with the sun. I even use it a few times uh, running, too. It's like, okay. <laughs> As a wide receiver. So, good play right here. Now, this is where the circus play comes in in a factor. Okay? There's a part where I'm like, uh, yeah. Going to deep over, wide open. Watch this. It's one that's even worse. Drops it. Good play right here. So, boom. I love the release. Indicator step. Great throw. Look at that. Good catch. Now we're going to run it again. When I say he uses every every part of the release on the corner, he gives you everything. Head and shoulders. Everything. Yeah. Good throw. You remember what he was talking about with Smith from Texas A&M? Uh-huh. Where you give the indicator step and leave yourself some room. This is what I mean. Yeah. Leave yourself some room right there so you could you could just walk right under. And also another good play. Like, it seems like he's breaking off these routes at like the last possible second in a yeah. good way. Oh, he's he he's so he's so route savvy. I love it. Yeah. Attacks of football. This is what I love. This is what teams look at and get excited for. And look at the finish. Just love the finish, man. I, I really love that. That's what you can't teach. Gets Oklahoma. Going motion. Look at this. Ah. Beep, beep. Love the route, man. Just love that route. Great hands. That's that's what we talk about. Plucking the football. Attacking the football. Not, ah. Ah. <laughs> now, this is where I'm talking about sometimes too much circusy. Doing too much. I'm going to just let this play through. I saw this and I was like, oh, man. Okay. Contest it. Bang. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no. That really happened. Here's the back view. <laughs> Boop. Hold on, let's rewind that. Look at that. Oh. Is that because he tried to catch it with his body and it popped up? Well, he's, 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 it looked like his feet got caught. Got a little bit of cattywampus. He's falling. But yes. Yeah. When you catch with your chest, it always will fail you. Boop. And then he kicks it up. Can't let my dog die like that, though. No. Because I really like how, I really love this game. Going across. Look at this. Ball is laid. I, I like it. Just the way he attacks a football. Let me tell you some of the things I like about him. Very twitchy. And that's what sometimes, sometimes so twitchy it gets him in trouble a little bit. But other than that, he does good. Circus catches. um, He understands his bend, understands how to do it. Uh, My comp, uh, 
is Brandon Loy attacks a football um, like a dominant wide receiver should. I love the way what he's brought to the table at UCF. Uh, excellent feet. He's one of those guys you can see he has so quick feet. This is where <clears throat> every receiver is different. I never had the quick feet. His feet remind me also of like Chad. He runs very Chad Johnson type of body mannerisms, right? Positions, how he gets there and why he gets there is really good. Quick feet. Chad was always a master at quick feet in the, in the ladder drill. I can never run the ladder drill like that. I was stiff. That's just the way my game was. But Chad wasn't. And, and Baker reminds me of kind of that quick feet, great position, can really just do anything, just puts it, puts it anywhere, just a sudden movement, movement that a lot of people don't have. Then his after catch is really good. His flex, his his the things that he needs to work on, they're all fixable. Yeah, right. There, there there are things that he was taught either by this coach or that coach, but his his foundation is base and his film speaks to itself of how good of a player he can and will be an X Y receiver, um, and he's consistent, really really consistent. Seems like the things too you'd want to fix or things you'd rather reel in as opposed to having them add on, which seems mm-hmm. harder. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. and when we talked about someone like A.D. Mitchell, we talked about how he would get outside of himself when he was breaking. He never seemed yeah. to be, his weight always seemed to be on balance when he was yes. running his route. Yeah. And some, some people say love the way he comes to balance. Appreciate you coming on, man. How, you, how do you feel? How do you think you did uh, at the combine? Uh, I'm just at home, no. I think I did good, but at the same time, I ain't never too satisfied. Yeah. You were, you were a little bit nervous, though, in the beginning. Yeah, for sure. For yeah. sure. Uh, what were some, what were some of the, if there were any questions that you kind of felt that were odd? Because I know in this process uh-huh. that you get some, you get some interesting questions. We're not uh-huh. going to ask the team just to want the question. We're not yeah. putting the team on blast. And they asked, like, why you drop so many balls? And, <laughs> like, <laughs> they asked that. And then they well, asked, like, okay, hold on, hold on. What was your answer? Yeah. I just tell them, like, my hand's big enough. Like, I got, like, <laughs> I got, like, 10 inch hands. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it ain't because of my hands. <laughs> so, the hands again. Well, you just dropped the phone. Yeah, <laughs> I dropped everything in my position. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Oh, man. I, I, I watch a lot. Of, I watch a lot of your film, man, and I just. Uh, I love what you, you – you were at Alabama. Yeah. Um, you left Alabama to go to UCF. Why why did you think that you needed to make that jump? Uh, Honestly, I just need, like, to touch the ball. Right? Yeah. Whenever I just touch the ball, a lot comes out of me. Yeah. Like, half of the stuff – half the stuff that I do is just, like, really just touch the ball for real. Like, I just need the momentum. Just when I touch the ball, it's over with. Yeah, I could change the whole game when I touch the ball. While I was watching your film, you remind me of Brandon Lloyd, just the Mm -hmm. way you attack your football. Sometimes you make the easy catch look hard, yeah, and you make the hard catch look extremely easy. Right? There's not a lot of people that have that knack, Mm -hmm. right? But it is in this process. You know, this process is about nitpicking. This process is about understanding. How does this kid fit our team? And when he fits our team, where does he line up? The way you also run your routes in the quick feet, also believe you remind me of Chad Mm -hmm. Johnson. You got that Florida. You got that keeping everything quick. Man, what will you say about yourself, about your game? That's the – that's a plus? Mm -hmm. We'll go with that first. What, what what about your game is a plus that you, that you really can you know stand on stand on business with? 
<laughs> I feel like when the ball is like it's my ball. Like the DB ain't gonna never touch it. Like, I pride myself on that. On the ball in here, it's my ball. What about uh route running? What routes do you love to run and some of the routes you you like, yeah, I don't know, I really like that was route. Honestly, I feel like I'm route running too, so any route I can run. I like every route. What are some DBs that heading into in the league that are going to get drafted in college that you believe gave you – made you think or made you study harder that week? Not saying that you got locked down, but, you know, there's some de- defenders yeah. you watch a lot more film than other defenders. Yeah, first, when I was at Alabama and then practicing with, like, Patch 10 yeah. and all that, I just think about, like, damn. This football is is it's, it's really hard. <laughs> like, these folks out here trying to feed their family, bro. <laughs> like, hey, Patrick with Pat every day, yeah. boy. <laughs> for real, for that'll me. make it better. Yeah, that'll make it yeah, better. Yeah, for sure. yeah. So, sure. uh, uh, newsflash: uh, he up here. You know, he yeah. up this level. Yeah, You'll see him again. Yeah, you'll see him again. <laughs> yeah, depending on the team, you might see him twice for sure. <laughs> All for right, sure. so so what? So that happens. Let's just say hypothetically, yeah. you go to a team uh, that has to play him twice. Man, what's your mindset? I gotta watch film on him. <laughs> well, Every like day. you said, that was that was when you were at Bama. What do you think uh-huh. you've added to your game in those last three years? Honestly, I got bigger. I got faster. And then my knowledge of the game now, from when I was a freshman, uh, I feel like now I know like how to attack your DB. You know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that, I know now. So like no, I know I know that like the his weakness mm. and what he's good at. But like some people some people would don't attack like his like what he's good at. Yeah, I, yeah. I I'll take that. Right. I already know what he's bad at. I want to see how I mess up with his good. So that's what I do. What What was the difference? How were you able to get better over the mm-hmm. years? Like, you normally don't hear guys say, I got faster. Mm-hmm. How were you able to get faster? Training. With my speed up. Yeah. Training. Because I, me as a person, I, once I get tired of somebody saying, oh, he's not fast enough, he's not this, I'm going to show you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, at the combine, they thought I was going to run the 4-7. Come on, bro. That's not <laughs> Be for real. Oh. And I feel like I run slower anyway. I, I was supposed yeah. to run 4-7. So. You, you were happy with your time. I saw, you, I yeah. saw your face after, after yeah. you ran. Mm. Well, you guys train. What What's – I said it opening up – the this this pod saying that it seemed like you guys, the younger generation, like yourself, all these all the players, y'all were seeming like you train to have a faster forty. Yeah. Is that is that is that fair? Fair enough. But are you guys still working on technique? I know some of those guys mm-hmm. didn't work on their technique and route running. Oh yeah, I'm gonna work on that regardless. Yeah. I can run I can work on my 40, and then throughout the day, go with my training. You know what I'm saying? Like, I work on my 40, like, 7 o'clock in the morning, and then go with my training at 12 o'clock. Mm. So, like, so how, many times a, a, how many times a day are you working out now that you're preparing for, for the for the pro days and all that stuff? Uh, Two days. Two days. Two times two a day. Two times a day? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, you out there in Florida or you Texas? Where you at? No, I was in Florida at SPE, but now I'm in Atlanta. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Who are you working out with in Atlanta? Uh, on my trainer right now, TSP Sports. Okay. Top shelf performance. Yeah, yeah. What, know, uh, Josh Dow is out there too, huh? Yeah. And then uh, uh, Malik Washington as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. We, we they work with a lot of guys. Calvin Ray would be out here. A lot of guys, yeah. Well, man, that's dope, man. I appreciate you coming on. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, I was going to say. Go- 
Go ahead, Coach. Well, I was going to say, 89 compares you to Brandon Lloyd. Who do you try and model your game after? Who's someone you looked up to, someone you mm-hmm. try and play like when you're out on the field? Honestly, I don't really too much look up at like a receiver. I ain't gonna lie. I like a lot. I like a lot of fair on each receiver and like try to take what they what they do best, but I don't really too much look up. So uh, that's good. Well, some of these some of these teams are gonna watch this interview. What are something you or and fans? What are some of the, what are some things that you want to get off your chest and let them know? You know what kind of player you will be once you're drafted. A hundred percent. I put in there a hundred percent. Whatever I do, so. You draft me, just know you're going to get 100% every day, consistent. And I do it every day. If the team, if you help the team win, I'll do it for sure. I love it. You want to play X or Z? What do you want uh, I want to go to get the best guys every week. So I will play X. You playing X? Yeah. Didn't have a lot of motion. You just sitting there. I like to call it stationary stand. Mm-hmm. You know, creating the leverage. So that's is that where you want to play or you want to move to Z? I could play any any receiver. I could play slot outside, you know, matter. I want I want obviously coordinate and like move you around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't like being like on one side. I, I don't really like that. Yeah. I, I get you. But you know you're gonna be a rookie, so you're gonna have to line up wherever oh, you yeah. Is. For sure. I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm going to line up where they want me to line up. Do what they want me to do. Yes, so sir. No, sir. Yeah. Yeah. No, yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. Hey, that's cool. You catch a, I you catch a few touchdown passes, you're going to be like, hey, dog. Uh, yeah. We get this movement going. For sure. For sure. Hey, hey man. I appreciate the time, bro. Uh, yes, sir, love, watch, sir. love watching uh, you at the combine. And I've been just enjoying watching your film. Uh, yes, you're doing a hell of a job, man. Like I told you at the combine, and I tell you again, man, give yourself a little grace, man. Don't, yeah, don't, don't put sure. too much pressure on yourself. You ran some really good routes, yes, but your face was looking like you didn't run any good, uh, good yeah. routes, man. Take take in this moment, enjoy it, because one day you're gonna wake up, mm-hmm. you're gonna be forty, you know, forty four years old, can't play interviewing young prospects and you're going to say, Hey, where did it go? All right. And so enjoy this time, man. Cause you never, you will never do a combine ever again as a player. You have right. accomplished it. You did well. You get your stamp of approval, right? The NFL is an elite place. Some people visit for a very long time. Mm-hmm. And some people here just for a few cups of coffee. All right. <clears throat> you got your visa stamped. You've been approved. Come on in, man. Kick your feet off, man, but don't get too comfortable. Oh, yes. Uh, because sure. next year, they're going to have another combine with a whole bunch of other guys trying to get in there. Too. Sure. So, all right, bro. Appreciate you. I appreciate you. All right. All right, man. Man, what a, what a, what a, what a, you could just see he just, the moment is the moment for him. He's, yeah, he's ready to go. He, yeah, he, he wants that draft to be tomorrow. He wants to. Work he wants to get tomorrow. To work. This evening would be right on time. <laughs> right. Well, man, that was that was just fun. Uh, thank, uh, thank Bank for coming in and just really just showing you know, just giving us a understanding of who he is, man. Just young kid. I love watching him uh, at the combine. You could tell it really. It's really really important to him. Um, well, uh, the, the the most fascinating thing he said to me. You know, the transfer portal and, and all of that is so overshadowed, clouded by NIL and people thinking these kids just want to get paid and they should get paid. But him just being like, I just want the ball. Like, I just get me the ball. It's at our, it, he was at Alabama. I know he had other first round picks ahead of yeah, him. He had a few of them. Yeah, just a couple. And so yeah. he's like, man, I just, I just want the ball in my hands. Whoever's going to give me the ball, that's where I'm going to go. And I, I love that answer. I love it too. Well, we, that's, just fun times talking about Baker, breaking down his film. Um, and really, and if your locker really room needs a little bit of levity, just a guy in there and is telling jokes oh, he, with the with the fellas, first round grade. Oh, he's going to be a fun kid, man, to watch <laughs> in the years to come, man. So I uh, uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, Javon Baker, UCF.
I, I just said, man, just great kid, great personality. Uh, you oh, can yeah. still see he's just trying to figure out his way, man. So, yeah, appreciate like get you. that rookie season over <laughs> with so he can be a little less anxious and start to enjoy everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, hey, that's a good breakdown, Javon Baker.